Hello everybody, my name is Virus Alertable, and I am here to share with you another video in my Windows 1.0 review series. Today, we will be looking at Windows 1.0 Premiere Edition. Windows Premiere Edition is the pre-release to Windows 1.0. It was shipped off to testers and to key players in the computer industry in the July of 1985. Reasoning why Microsoft sent them to key players in the computer industry is because they wanted to prove that their product wasn't vaporware. Let's kick off right now by looking at the installation. If you guys have watched my alpha slash beta review of Windows 1.0, you guys can see that the beta installation looks the same. It's relatively the same. The only difference in this installation is that one, there's one more floppy disk that you need to have. <clears throat> Two, you need, you uh, have a little bit more options of printers. Three, there is a little bit, there's another selection, there's a good bit more selections of video cards. And that's about it. That's the only differences I saw. Oh, and right here, the ending just gives you the little directions. Type in win, press the enter key. And here we go. Windows 1.0 Premiere Edition running in color. Uh, no, it doesn't look like it's in color, but we just wait until we start some applications. Now let's see what's been changing. As you guys can see in beta, when you moved up your cursor all the way to the top of the screen, you would get a little, your cursor would change and turn into an arrow that pointed up. That has been removed. Uh, just a minor tweak that I noticed when I started playing around with 1.0 Premiere Edition. You also have these little, these new little menu items, which is pretty cool. You also have the create director directory and the change directory and make new for and format the disk. That's amazing. I never saw that in beta, and if I did, I missed it. Anyways, calculator. This is what it looks like in color. If you guys saw my beta release, I noted that beta was the first Windows one it was the first build of 1.0 that supported color. And as you can see, you can minimize and you can multitask in, to an extent with these two, having two programs on the screen at a time. As you can see, clock has changed uh, a little bit. The uh, hands, the little um, hands on the clock look like clock hands, actual clock tickers. We have the features to zoom. I never covered that in. Uh, I never covered that in the other builds, and this is what I'm covering it. You can close applications as we noted, and here we are. Looking at reverse C, looks pretty much the same. You got your skill, basic skill, and in DR5, it used to have a little banner whenever you um, did an illegal move in reverse C. However, they don't have that. And another thing I noticed is that they removed the puzzle. They removed the puzzle game. It is not here. It was in beta, but it was, but it's not anymore here in Premiere Edition, which makes me wonder why they removed it. Maybe for less clutter, they were trying to target more of a business sort of audience. However, we'll see what's going on. And you can see we clicked the about. You can clearly see Premiere copyright 1985 by the Microsoft Corporation. Very nice. As we close reversey, let's get in to a little bit of the controversy toward the builds that were released for this, that were leaked recently. By the way, here you can um, install a new printer right in the operating system. As you can see, you have a little bit more options for printers. You can copy the file directory, set up, you can set up your connections, where you want to connect your printer from. Can select your printer or set it up. As you can see, I set up the Oki, Oki, Oki Data printer on the operating system. And here are your communications port, which is very nice. And then you've got your preferences where you can change the color scheme. Anyways, let's go back on the controversy of the leak builds. A leaked build that was available on the uh, Beta Archives FTP. And it's still available. It's still available. Was fake. 
Now, I'll leave a description, I'll leave a, I'll leave a link in the description so you guys can see the reasons why it's faked, be, fake, because I want to get, I want to jump right in to how recently this build, this build was released. On, th on the March of, si on 16th of March, 2014, a beta archive user, true Yanks fan, claimed that he has the original floppy disk, and he did. He posted f pictures depicting four, five and a quarter, and a quarter inch installation discs with Premiere Edition written on them, which I will pop up on the screen right there. A few months later, he posted an update, revealing that discs one through three were overwritten, sadly, and only disc four survived. He also posted a screenshot claiming the dates on the files were near the were near the end of October 1985, which I assume were the were the last disc, disc four. And then, here's a good one. A few months later, on the 29th of November 2014, a, a beta archive user named Alias, who was an intern at Microsoft in 1985, posted a picture of the full disc set and the build running on his IBM PC XT. And since then, he has been post he has posted the image, the floppy images, and that's the reason why this video is here. We are looking at something that we couldn't see. We only recently known about this build. We only recently can see it. As you can see paint still here. Only recently we could ever see this build. Very impressive. I have to give thanks to Alias for, for being such an awesome guy and posting the images on here and giving us an opportunity to look at some very important history in the computer industry. Very important history that we need to see this. It's not every day that you get to see stuff like this. As you can see, we have pretty much wrapped up. As we click about, we're going to click, they have a little new feature, the click about the Microsoft MS-DOS executive. You can see the disk space free and the memory free. And we are going to close off this virtual machine. Alrighty, guys. Well, I'm going to have to sign off now. Please rate, comment, and subscribe if you guys want more. Thanks. Virus Alertable, signing off.